Good evening, my fellow Americans. Now, before I begin, I just want to say that I know a lot of people out there seem to think that uh, I don't get angry. That's just not true. I get angry a lot. Uh, it's just that the way I express passion is different from most. So, just so there's no more confusion, we've hired Luther here to be my anger translator. Luther? Hi. First off, concerning the recent developments in the Middle Eastern region, uh, I just want to reiterate our unflinching support for all people uh, and their right to a democratic process. Hey, all y'all dictators out there, keep messing around and see what happens. Just see what happens. Watch! Also, to the governments of Iran and North Korea, uh, we once again urge you to discontinue your uranium enrichment program. Hey, Mahmoud, Kim Jong, I think I already untold both y'all. 86 you bitches, I'm gonna come over there and do it for y'all. Please test me and see what happens. On the domestic front, uh, I just want to say to my critics, I hear your voices and I'm aware of your concerns. So maybe if you can chill the hell out for like a second, then maybe I can focus on some shit, you know? And that goes for everybody. Uh, including members of the Tea Party. Oh, don't even get me started on these motherfuckers right here. I want to assure you that we will be looking for new compromises with the GOP in the months ahead. And you know these motherfuckers gonna say no before I even suggest some Now, I know that a lot of folks say that I haven't done a good job at communicating my accomplishments to the public. Because y'all motherfuckers don't listen! Uh, since being in office, We've created three million new jobs. Three million new jobs. We ended the war in Iraq. Ended the war, y'all. We ended a war. Remember, remember that? These achievements should serve as a reminder that I am on your side. I am not a Muslim. And that my intentions as your president are coming from the right place. They coming from Hawaii, which is where I'm from, which is in the United States of America, y'all. OK? This is ridiculous. I have a birth certificate. I have a birth certificate. I have a hot diggity diggity mama say mama samu makusa birth certificate, you dumbass crackers. OK. So Luther, yeah. rope it in. You yeah, dial it back, Luther, damn. In conclusion, uh, last night, uh, I had a conversation with Michelle. I said, and bitch. Nope, I did not say that. I did not say that. Good evening, my fellow Americans. Now, before we begin, uh, I'd like to once again introduce you to my anger translator, Luther. Hi. Now, this November, I want each and every one of you to ask yourselves, what has changed in the last four years? Who killed Osama bin Laden? What has my administration accomplished? Did we accomplish killing America's biggest enemy? A uh, check did that. Boom! In 2011 alone, we created more jobs than George W. Bush did in all eight years of his office. Except for Osama bin Laden, Hunter, because that job don't exist anymore because I went over there and I killed him in his face. We helped make health care accessible to more Americans than ever before. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Uh, your World Trade Center hurts? Then why don't you take two dead bin Ladens and call me in the morning, bitch? This election. Make the decision that you think best serves the future of this country. Or you can eat a dumb, dumb sandwich and just vote for the person who didn't kill Osama bin Laden. But why would you do it? Why would you do it? I plan to run a clean campaign, one based on the issues and the accomplishments of my administration. Mm -hmm, but I'm going to tell you right now, if the Republicans, if they had caught Osama bin Laden, they wouldn't even be an election, man. they just put a crown on his head and give him a castle and just call him the King of America. And that'll be it. I said that'll be it. All right, all the, right, hmm, all what? right. Just you know, bring it down a notch That's there, right. okay, Luther. OK, come on, Luther. Man, you're straight up out of control, brother. Well, uh, it's not that bad. OK, don't beat yourself up. It's OK. <coughs> Excuse me. Can a nigga get a lozenge? Now, Luther, you, you, you can't say that word. Oh, Actually, it says right here I can say it whenever I want. I guess I can say it too. Good night, my niggas. <laughs> Good evening, my fellow Americans. With me, as always, is my anger translator, Luther. What'd it do? Now, as you know, for the past six years, uh, I've received my fair share of criticism from the Republican Party. I can't even give Malia an allowance without them accusing me of wealth redistribution. It's all part of rough and tumble politics. I hate you! Uh, in recent years, 
Uh, I've also received a good amount of criticism from my fellow Democrats. Oh my God, this mother right here. How am I, oh. Do these, I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna get them. these. Tell me, I'm a, not you though. Oh, I'm gonna bust all you in the lip. Now, I know the right to express one's opinion about the powers that be is the very thing that makes this country great. Like, I ain't got enough to do. We got a James Bond building running in Russia. I got a Congress full of teabaggers. The earth is burning up. And now I got to deal with all these whiny ass biatches from my own party. Some have cited my inability to make good on my campaign promise to uh, close Guantanamo Bay. Congress shut me down. I'm a president, y'all. I'm a president, not a king. They checked and balanced my ass. I mean, god damn. And then there are those on the left who have criticized my continued usage of drone strikes. Yo, you know what? Y'all can't have it both ways, man. What do you want? You can't have the soldiers coming home and hugging the moms and then also at the same time have me killing with in the caves. Y'all should be embracing this technology because it's pretty amazing, man. It's awesome. All you do is pick up the phone and say, excuse me, I'd like to order two dead terrorists. Bloop. Kablam! It's amazing. I mean, we can murder people with flying robots. Well, sir, it's well, like sir. we in Star Wars world, dog. And I'm done fade up in this bitch. I'm like, I know you are. Luther, what is wrong in your head? Why would you compare the president to one of the lords of the Sith? <clears throat> Thank you, and good night. Good evening, my fellow Americans. I just want to thank you for your continued faith in my ability. We won! That's my anger translator, Luther. Whoa! Yeah! What's up? Mm -mm 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 -mm. But I want to wish my opponent, Mitt Romney, well. He ran a good campaign. Take that back to the lab, Mitt, because you lost. Now, we move forward with pressing issues. We're going to pass health care again. Now what, bitches? While we had huge turnout from our faithful supporters. Thank you, black folks. We made it to two elections in a row, man. Now, how hard was that? All your votes were crucial in this victory. White people who voted for me, you are all now honorary black people. So thank you for your support. And f you if you tried to f me. I mean, you know how much money they tried to spend to get rid of this? Millions, son. I said millions. But you couldn't get rid of a Oh, no. Yeah, can't touch no. this. Luther, uh -uh. Luther, what I tell you, no hammer dancing. Come on, B! We won, let's do it, dog! No, I'm, yeah. uh, I, I told yeah. you, uh, I don't want you doing it wrong. You oh. gotta get it right. Oh. If you're gonna do it, God bless America. Oh, that's right, that's right. Say it, though, say it! Now, I, I told you, homeboy, you can't touch this. Mm -hmm.